Ladies and gents, welcome back to The Random. It's your host, Smallwood Worldwide. We're back again with a quick video, and today we're going to review our first ever Samsung event. Samsung held their unpacked event yesterday, and we want to talk about this from a very high level, right? So go to your favorites if you want all the specs, battery sizes, size of lenses, aperture, all of that. We're going to talk about this from a different purview. Let's look at it like this. Samsung yesterday announced three different phones, the S22, the S22 Plus, and of course, the S22 Ultra, which is also basically the Galaxy Note rebranded. Beautiful devices. As you know, Samsung is known for amazing screens. I will say that the S22 Ultra, aka the Note, has very sharp edges, so be careful holding that phone. Otherwise, gorgeous devices. I'm sure they've made some Ultra changes. However, there's two main changes they talked about yesterday. So out of all the innovation that Samsung typically throws our way, they decided that two features were most important. Number one, nightography. So in essence, Samsung wants you to have the ability to take better photos at night. You know, their S21 Ultra took amazing photos, shot great video. However, the S22 series is supposed to take that to the next level with nightography. Note the name. In addition to that, let's move on to their second feature. <laughs> and you're not going to believe this. It's called Vision Booster. So essentially, their take on it is if you're out in a bright sun, if you're on a beach, if you're anywhere where it's a little bit difficult to see the screen on your phone, Vision Booster is supposed to provide you with the opportunity to easily see your phone and interact with it and do all the things that you would love to do. What I would say probably trying to give you the same feeling that you would have if you were indoors. So two neat features, two very functional features. So essentially, they took a page out of the Google Pixels book and Apple's playbook with the iPhone. Nothing wrong with that. I'm not mad at it. I'm sure all the Samsung Knights won't be mad at that as well. Now, Vision Booster and also Nightography, those being your two biggest features, I have to say the upgrades this year are probably incremental and in my opinion, just a bit underwhelming. However, we'll see what Samsung chooses to add to them from a software perspective. As you know, they announced some more partnerships on the low with Spotify, YouTube Premium, and of course, Microsoft. So they are working to develop their ecosystem a bit. So kudos to them for that. In addition to the three phones, they did also announce, guess what? Drum roll, three different tablets. So you have the Tab S8, the Tab S8 Plus, as well as the Tab S8 Ultra, which is 14.6 inches. Now, that's pretty big for a tablet. However, the way they utilize the screen, I want to say that 16 by 10 ratio, if I'm not mistaken, it looks nice. It comes with a notch, and I want to say two 4K cameras, so it will be interesting again. Does Samsung, like all Android tablets, do they have the software to support the beautiful screen and to support the powerful hardware driving that screen? So hit me up in the comments and let me know what you think, because I'll tell you what I think. Again, beautiful event. They have all this special effects. They have everything you could ever want to see, but software. What does Samsung do from a software perspective? I look forward to seeing what they do with that as these phones drop. The pre-orders dropped yesterday, the same with the tablets. Once again, the Tab S8, the Tab S8 Plus, and of course the Tab S8 Ultra and the S22 series. Most notably, the new Note, the rebrand, the S22 Ultra with all its sharp edges there. So, like I said, let me know your thoughts on the Samsung Unpacked event. Did you go out and pre-order from Samsung's website? I know folks were having trouble doing that. I look forward to seeing some of your videos and seeing your unboxings and seeing what you have to say about it. And of course, seeing a day in the life video with those options. We'll see you in the next edition of The Random. And guess what? I'm kinda happy, drop the bias just a bit. This is our first Android event. And listen, we came from the world of Android before we had the opportunity to join Apple. So we'll always show a little bit of respect their way. But you know what time it is. We'll see you in the next edition soon. Peace.